Hey guys, I just thought I'd make a little short video of uh, the gear I use to record m music videos, basically. So let's get started, is it? The guitars. Now, you've only ever seen me play in this one right here, which is my... Let me get up a minute. Which is my Gibson SG s Special. Let's just get a good look at it. It's like watching a bloody rocket taking off, isn't it? Those are Mother of Pearl Fret Dots, Humbucker Pickups, and Rosewood Body. And then of course we have my acoustic, which apparently is 30 years old. I had it given to me off my auntie, who had it when she was about 10, and she'd be about 14 now, so... For 30 years old. <laughs> so it's okay to play, but it's a bit, the, the strings get really stiff after a while. And then we have this guitar, which most people seem to say is my nicer looking one. But believe it or not, this is the cheapest one out of a lot of them. Because this one used to look. Um, no, I don't have a photo. This one used to be. I have black, a black body, and a white scratch plate. Believe it or not, you can probably see it in the um, Argos catalog, because that's where I got it from. And I had it all covered all, all over with stickers and all crap like that, so I decided it's looking a bit worse for wear, so I thought I'd sand down the body, as I have, replace the scratch board, and the tone and volume dials and I also changed the headstock, the tuning pegs to these uh, stiffer, more hard wearing ones so that was quite a fun thing and I also used this uh, wood oil on it to give it a bit more of a dark wood green which worked out pretty well and I'm quite happy with the way it turned out okay well that was the that was the guitars. So now I think we'll move on to the pedals I use. Right, well, first of all, we'll start over here. This is my Fab Dan Electro Metal pedal, which I had for free for subscribing to Tall Guitar Magazine. And all I can say is, it is epic win. The t I can't I can't get the tone I get off this on this, put it that way. It's just insane. And this is my... Hang on, I gotta zoom in because I can't even pronounce the name. Kiko Larero Signature Edition Guitar Effects Pedal G1K Zoom Pedal Thingy. Yeah. I pretty much only bought this because my other Zoom Pedal broke. And this is the only one I could afford at the time. But this is pretty much the one I do all the vid I record all the videos with. You know, this is the sound the sound you hear you hear me playing is from this. And it does the job. You know, it's it's good. We like it. And this is the thing I use to record all the music on. This is my is another Zoom product. Yay, we love Zoom. It's a multi track recorder studio Zoom MRS four B four track recorder thing and it does you know it pretty much does the job it's a bit of a nightmare trying to gather videos onto windows Me no videos it's a bit of a nightmare trying to gather sound files onto windows media player but uh... yeah it's good it takes a it takes a smart media card but yeah and i think this is the, yeah no this is the this is the one that came with this uh, I bought one. I remember I bought another one, which is a hundred and twenty-eight megabyte, because this one's only thirty-two. Can barely fit anything on it. And, uh, yeah, it, it does the job really well. And those are my pedals. And as you see, we've got loads of leads. And now to show you the pride and joy of the whole thing, apart from my guitars, 
the monster. Hey, down in front. Dun, dun, da -da. Excuse the little cuddly dog on top and the welcome, the welcome dog on top. I have no comment on those, but still, this is my hundred watt um, DFX MG series Marshall amplifier. And just to show you, let me just show. You, this is not a portable amp. This is a portable amp. That isn't. And believe me, I've attempted to take that thing up and down the stairs many times. It's not a good idea. As Astrovex will agree with me there, as I tried to take it up and down his staircase when I took it over his house once, he, he asked me never to return over his house again. So, well, that gives an idea of how big it is, and if you still don't believe me how big it is, let me just show you how big it is compared with the DVD. I'm gonna Kung Fu Panda thing with it, but that's a DVD cover compared with it. Hang on, I can't sit back, sit back far enough. Hang on. Uh. There. That's how big it is. It's got a 12 inch Celestian speaker in it, which I've opened up the back and had a look at, and it is win. It is awesome. And it has, it has two channels. Oh crap! I'm blocking the camera. It has a clean channel, which I very rarely use. But oddly enough, this is the loudest channel. Because if you notice, the gain is always like that. When I'm when I'm on clean, I always go on the clean channel when I'm hooking my pedals up to it. But if I move this anywhere past there, I would have to turn the master volume, which is there down way down and then gently go up otherwise it would go bang and kill everyone in a four mile radius and then here we are we got the bass middle and can you see it and the treble and that's the gain no that's the oh that's the crunch channel when you click that so you push so you push that button in and then you kill people with the, the gain volume thingy. And then of course when you click these two when you click this one in, you get into the overdrive channel. Which isn't as loud, it's got its own separate volume and gain. It's got also got a mi bass, middle, treble, and it's also got a contour one. It's not as loud as the clean channel, believe it or not, or the crunch channel, believe it or not, but uh yeah, it's good. And it's also got a secondary overdrive or a secondary um distortion button there which makes it a bit more distorted as it says and then of course it has and then I got a thing then you got the, you got the reverb channel that's my favorite channel I love making my guitar sound all 80s style and then you have the master volume now this is the epic win and then I have this FDD thing Don't have a clue what that does, but it just seems to make it a slightly bit louder. Don't know why. But that's it. And there it is, the Marshall symbol. So this video's dragging on now, so I think I better wrap it up now. So that was my gear. See you another time.